We're going to go over stocks I'm holding, adding, taking profit on. Everything you need to know in this video. At the end of the video, I'll go over my biotech swing plays with upcoming catalyst. What I'm looking at for these plays. These are big time plays. Drop a like on this video if you do enjoy this content. Seriously, guys, drop a like on the video. I do appreciate it if you guys are hitting that like button, commenting down below. And artificial intelligence is in the headlines tremendously. Your average Joe is not even into artificial intelligence yet. I think this bubble can continue to grow. And you can see right here that the big dogs in the game, the billion trillion dollar companies, Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, Arm, and others join forces to form an AI RAN alliance. So they're joining up, they're teaming up, they're getting in this AI game, a group focused on research and development to integrating AI into cellular technology, even Meta and IBM launched a group called the AI Alliance in December 2023. So these big companies are getting together. They got to get ahead of the game with artificial intelligence. These are long term plays to look at to invest in in the long term and our hype artificial intelligence small cap plays are ripping ticker BBAI. You guys know I've been covering this one for quite some time and definitely hop in the private discord. Nobody on YouTube was talking about BBAI. Nobody was talking about BBAI, this golden cross, this hot AI stock. They were not giving their buy alerts, but we were right in the private discord link in the top pin comment. Hop in right now. You can see I was telling my ads and the upcoming catalyst within the private discord. You can see the profit C3 AI up 170 percent. AI calls up a, up, up, up a ton today. You can see BBAI, you know, 70% right there. They're, you know, it's endless. It's endless. It's endless. We're killing it. Hop in it right now. BBAI is up 38% today, up 16% in after hours trading. I mean, this thing closed at $4 per share. This thing has been an absolute killer. I've been talking about this definitive merger agreement to acquire Pangeum. That was closing in quarter one of 2024. Today, the merger was approved. They had 109 million votes for the merger. And you can see it was approved. Also, the stock issuance proposal was approved, which is about 50 million shares of dilution coming. So that is the risk for BBAI. But overall, it's strong right now. Cantor Fitzgerald put out a $3 target on BBAI stock today. It blew past that $3 target. They have earnings on March 7th, 2024. So we got about a week until those earnings. That's going to be very interesting for BBAI. I'm taking a look at the chart, guys. This is why you got to have your plan in place and you can't panic. My stop loss was $1.78 for BBAI. It never hit my stop loss, meaning I'm not getting out of the play. We knew the potential. We I, I knew the merger coming up, we knew artificial intelligence was hyped. Yeah, there was a chance that it wouldn't work out. There's always that chance, which is why we have the stop loss. But if I don't get kicked out of my stop loss, I'm not selling the play. I know the potential of my plays. That's the reason why I get in them. So, you know, that we have that major potential to go up and then, you know, a, a potential for it to not work out. And we just get kicked out for a small loss and we move on to the next play that has insane potential. It never went to $1.78. It only went to $1.09 or something like that. Not really even close to $1.78. We didn't get stopped out. We're breaking over $3 per share, which was the downtrend break that I was talking about. You know, right now, if we flip over the four hour here, we can see in after hours, we're over four. 375 was my next resistance level after three. We're over 375 right now. 450 is our next level. If we go to the weekly chart here, you can see that 450 was previously some, you know, nice support here. So that's going to turn into some resistance. If we do break over 450, we could see our way up to the 672 level, in my personal opinion. Although, you know, locking in profits is a move. I, I always lock in a little bit of profits on the way up and then I'll hold, a, you know, a good chunk you know, ride that momentum out and see if I can get some more big gains on ticker BBAI. So I'm loving BBAI. Drop a comment down below if you've been banking on this play. It's been an absolute killer for us. Earnings are coming up next week. And that is in just just been incredible for BBAI. Ticker SOU went up 19% today. 
up 5% after hours. They do have earnings on February 29th, which is actually on Thursday this week. The estimate for fourth quarter 2023 revenue for SOUN is pegged at 16 to 20 million, you know, suggesting a 66% improvement from a year ago. In the last four quarters, they delivered an earnings surprise of 7.11% on average. You know, they've been benefiting from the growing demand of their conversational AI platform. They have new products that, that came out, including, you know, generative AI enhanced voice products, including, including SoundHound Chat, which have been well received by automotive and restaurant sectors. You know, we can see that they had collaborations with Hyundai and Stellantis, expected to have a significant, you know, contribute to the revenue growth in the quarter. They've had partnerships with White Castle, Jersey Mike's, Krispy Kreme, all of these partnerships. They've made significant deals with Olo and Chow now. So a ton of new partnerships came in. They had a chat GPT PR a few days ago. They've had increased popularity with overall artificial intelligence. But what I think a lot of people are looking for from these SOUN earnings coming out on Thursday in just two days here is are they profitable yet? So if the company does come out and they are profitable, that probably will be a big mover to the upside for the stock. You know, if they're not profitable yet and they're still struggling to get profitability, you could see some downside. But if they come out and SEU and says, we're, we are now profitable, that can be a big mover for the stock. Right now, guys, I was talking about how we can get up to these crazy levels. And right now, if we broke over five, and that's what we're doing right now, we broke over five, we're at 686 right now. You know, we tapped basically $8 today. Right now, we do have some resistance at $8 and then resistance at 873. If we broke break over 873, I mean, we could see exponential upside for ticker SOUN 10, 11, 12, 13 bucks per share if we break over 873. But it's all going to depend on those earnings. If they knock earnings out of the park, you know, we could definitely see this continue to 10. But if they have struggles that were not expected, then you could definitely see a little bit of a cool down. So guys, I've been talking about SUN for such a long time. I made a video, I bought 16,000 of this stock. I was talking about it as a high risk, long-term hold. And obviously that's been playing out beautifully. I think like really the only reason a lot of these YouTubers know about SUN is because of my videos. They found it, they started talking about it, but we put out the DD early and I love to see us succeeding with ticker SUN. One of our biotech, let's get in, now let's switch from artificial intelligence, SOUN and BBAI to our biotech swings. Ticker ACHL up 9.5% today, up 4% in after hours trading. I mean, ACHL has just been on a rocket ship higher. It's not been explosive by any means, but it's just been going up. We have phase one, two data to be presented in the first quarter of 2024. I've been talking about this. We have a meeting on Thursday in just two days. I don't know what they're going to talk about at the meeting or if they're going to if they're just going to present, you know, a simple presentation or if they're going to release data. We will have to see. I still believe this has upside, guys. I mean, we're sitting at 113 million cash, only at a 63 million dollar market cap, 29 million flow. I did want to mention. So guys, a CHL they're going to be reporting data soon. So what is the risks and the reward? So let's start out with the risk here. So Nerve, they had data. They released data. They had bad data. It dropped 58%. So there is that risk. But the potential reward is something like JNX up 229% today on good data. VKTX up 121% today on good data. That's an $8 billion company. Gen X, that's a $2 billion company. This is a 50, you know, a $60 million company. So the risk is there, minus 58%, but the reward is also high. So you guys have to decide what you're going to do with your own money, taking profits, holding a small chunk. I'm holding through data. That's just me. I'm a risk taker. Uh, unless it really just keeps going and going and going, I might, I'm, I might consider just taking some out, you know, 
I'll definitely consider that as these days go on here, especially tomorrow, a day before the conference. If we really get a run up, you know, tomorrow leading up to the conference, I might just take some profits out because, you know, there's always that buy the rumor, sell the news. So if, you know, they have the conference that's highly anticipated on Thursday and nothing really comes out of it, then you could definitely see a sell off. So you got to, you know, keep this in mind, keep your risks in mind and understand what's going on here. You know, profits are profits. It's been going up. Keep that in mind. But I'm going to be definitely holding a solid chunk to data. PTPI, let's switch to PTPI. Petros Pharmaceuticals up 5% today, $1.66, up another 5% in after hours trading. We know the deal with PTPI. They got two upcoming FDA meetings in March. We've been talking about this forever. They have a multi billion dollar software provider partnership to, to reveal it at some point in the near future. And we have earnings potentially coming out tomorrow. Now, earnings are a total toss up. And this is an estimate, by the way. I'm not 100%. Well, I guess this is not, I guess this is their earnings day. So we're going to see earnings tomorrow. Um, well, no, this is an estimated earnings report. So there's no guarantee it's going to come out tomorrow for PTPI, but that's what analysts are estimating because the company didn't straight up tell us, you know, earnings are coming out on this date like the big, big dogs do. Penny stock earnings, they kind of come out randomly at times. So earnings, they're a toss up. If they report crazy numbers, it could go up. If they report, you know, bad numbers are not so great numbers, it could go down. With this one, regardless, you know, if it goes down on earnings, I'm adding because of those catalysts coming up. And, you know, regardless, I'm holding and adding for these upcoming catalysts for ticker PTPI. If we take a look at the chart here, we are out of this downtrend line that I have, you know, set up here. We've been out for, you know, multiple days here. We have resistance at $1.75 and two. Once we get over that $2 level, we have a lot of room higher. We got to get there first. We could, there's definitely a potential for a dip before these catalysts. We're, we're still early on this one, in my opinion, because those catalysts are coming up in March. But I think this is still one of the best ones out there. I really like ticker PTPA, PTP, PTPI. I love it. Now, ticker PHIO up 4.5% today. This is one I've been talking about. I still love this play. It's, you know, right here we're sitting at a 4.3 million 4.3 million dollar market cap, 4 million float. We have preclinical data to be presented at a at a cancer conference on March 21st, 2024. I'm really looking forward to that data. We have a gap fill to the upside at $1.24. I am pretty confident here and I, I could always be wrong, but I'm darn near confident that that gap is going to be filled by that March 21st date. If it doesn't happen, I'd be a little bit surprised, but I do believe that there's a solid chance that PHIO fills that gap at $1.24. So that's my first price target for ticker PHIO, just because, you know, there's a clear level to get to here for PHIO, and I think it can get there. Guys, this is what I'm looking at. If you enjoy this content, drop a like on the video. Hop in the private Discord if you do want to hop in with the family. You know, 300% on CXAI, 89% on ticker CXAI. Guys, we were talking about CXAI in the private Discord in a pre-market. I mean, we can literally go here and we go, if CXAI can break and hold $1.70, that is one to watch. You know, a ton of people were talking about CXAI cheap here. If it breaks two, she's gone. So obviously, you know, we were killing it in there on ticker CXAI. And if we go to CXAI for the day here, it's up 81.94%. I had a $4,600 profit on ticker CXAI. We're banking. We're going crazy. Drop a like on this video. That's it for me. Peace.